The design for the new brothel Via Rail passenger station was unveiled on Wednesday afternoon at a press conference at the current station on Perth Street in Brockville. Uh, the investment of $4.5 million in the new Via Brockville station will not only create new jobs and stimulate the economy, but will also allow Via to provide better service to its local customers. Uh, we know that this new station will offer smooth, efficient and accessible service to facilitate the flow of passengers even at peak travel times. The new station will bring lasting economic benefits to the people of Brockville and neighboring communities. We have approximately 140 years here in Brockville and a lot of the hotels in the downtown area historically were founded on the fact that we were a hub for train transport and that's a, it's, it's built our downtown area over those years. Now we've moved away from that and here we are coming back to it. And we're coming back to it in an environmentally friendly way by moving back to trains. And our strategic plan in the city of Brockville actually cites or focuses us on trying to make environmentally sound decisions and focusing on, on infrastructure that moves us that way. This redevelopment does that. The $4.5 million project will receive $3 million in funding from the Government of Canada's Economic Action Plan. This investment will provide modern, attractive facilities for passengers with the capacity to meet potential future growth. The new station will have 2,400 square feet. It will provide over 30 seats for passengers to wait while enjoying the, uh, uh, the facilities in terms of Wi-Fi service for internet connection, television screens for news and up-to-the-minute information, as well as 60 parking spots to leave cars as people commute to uh, the cities, as uh, was mentioned by the mayor. Also, the mural depicting Brockville's history, painted by art students at Thousand Island Secondary School, that now hangs outside on the front wall of the current station, will be preserved. So let me say right now that we intend to keep that piece of history, to find an appropriate place to display it, so passengers of the future will enjoy it, and the meaning that it has for the community here as they come to Brockville or as they visit uh, their friends and neighbors from the area. The existing Brogville station, as was mentioned, is an historical station. It was built back in 1872. And so as we move forward to building a new station next door, we will try to preserve some of these historical artifacts or some of its elements of the history, which is rich in railway uh, uh, backgrounds. The design unveiled on Wednesday is a scaled-back design of the $7 million project that was announced about a year ago. That plan called for an overpass from the new station to a planned passenger loading area for a third track just south of the station, but VIA officials say that current traffic numbers doesn't justify the overpass right now. The new station is part of a $300 million expansion of the entire rail infrastructure between Montreal and Toronto. The expansion will also include the addition of a new third two-mile track from the new station going west to around where the main line passes under Highway 401. The projects on the CN line will add almost 50 miles of, of sections of a new third main line track at key points and improve the signal system. A new two-mile long track will run from the new Brockville station to a point close to the 401 underpass on the western edge of the city. The projects on the CP and VIA rail track north of Brockville will add five new passenger sidings, a new signal system and upgrade crossing protection to improve the tracks for higher speed operation and see the construction of a new station in Smith's Falls. Construction on the new station is expected to begin early next year and is expected to be completed by the fall of 2011. The now unused building to the east of the existing station will be demolished to make way for the new structure. Once the new station is complete, the current station, which dates back to 1872, will be demolished to make way for a parking lot for the new station. Dale Elliott, BNTV News, Brockville.